I'm Ian Horrocks. I'm a professor of computer science here at the University of Oxford and my main area of research is knowledge representation and reasoning. So what is KRR? So KRR is knowledge representation and reasoning. Knowledge can be of different kinds. Knowledge can be just basic facts like you would find in a database but knowledge can also be more complicated, rule-based knowledge that tries to sort of generalize. Let's say, for example, in a sort of company setting where they make a large number of components which they combine and configure to build larger installations for clients. The knowledge would consist of basic stuff about the components, if they were electrical components, things like what voltage or power a given motor uh, has. Um, and then there's also more complicated knowledge that includes rules of, of the form. Well, if I have a motor and I need a power supply, then the motor should take the same voltage as the power supply provides if it's going to be a you know a good configuration in the end for the client. The reasoning part is how do we combine all that stuff in order to answer questions and a question might be of the form does this configuration which involves motor A, power supply B and a ton of other things will that produce you know solve a given customer requirement. As I've said this is just one example of the use of complex reasoning in a commercial application which allows the system to answer arbitrary questions while taking into account domain knowledge that's specific to that application. The reasoning that's taking place there can also be thought of as rules-based AI. What does that reasoning look like? Actually, one of the important things about knowledge representation and reasoning systems is that the, as a user answering the question, you don't have to know how to do the reasoning. That's the whole point. You just have to know that some very clever people in the background have figured out a computer algorithm that does the reasoning for you and guarantees to be correct. So if it gives you an answer, you know that that's a correct answer. And if a correct answer exists, it will always find it. So you just rely on the fact that someone else did the heavy lifting on, on all of that stuff. It's the result of all of this research and thinking uh, about KRR that ended up in RDFOX, the rules-based AI system that I'm going to talk about more in future podcasts.